Oh man, now this is really getting out of control. Don't worry, I came prepared. Okay, my peeps and peepettes, welcome back to the Spotlight and Reviewing Station. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Halloween Ultimate Michael Myers 7-inch action figure from NECA Toys. I had this figure pre-ordered on Big Bad Toy Store, but when I found out that it was available on NECA's eBay store, I have never clicked buy it now so quickly. I've never actually clicked cancellation on Big Bad Toy Store real quickly either. Anyway, let's take a look at the packaging for take of every single video review on this channel. Here we've got a nice picture of Michael Myers' mask. The front of the packaging looks pretty sweet. This set includes a light up flickering pumpkin, but if you put it far away from your face, it actually looks like it's saying something else. It includes light up pumpkin down below it says halloween ultimate michael myers on the side here it says halloween neca real toys and there's a little bit of the mass of michael myers on the opposite side here is pretty much the same dealio taking a look at the back of the packaging and here we've got the prototype action figure and all these very nice displayable dioramas which is very cool neca here's a brief summary of the halloween 2018 film it includes knife hammer fire poker tombstone Victim head, light up pumpkin, interchangeable head, and hands. Here's a look at some of the names who are responsible for the creation of this figure. Right next to that, we got some information about the light up pumpkin. If you want to pause the view and read it, be my guest. And then you got your licensing, your product number, and then of course the barcode at the bottom. Made in China. At the top of the packaging, it says Halloween. We got a picture of Michael Myers' mask again. Warning, choking hazard, ages 17 and up. Of course, this being an ultimate action figure set from NECA, of course, we got this opening flap here. And here's a nice look at, once again, the prototype action figure. You can see all that the figure has to offer here from its accessories and the tombstone that's in the very back there of Judith Myers. And looking up close at the figure himself, I'm not really seeing a difference between the two heads here. You know, actually, when I think about it now, if they really wanted to release this around Christmas time, they should have called it Christmas Ultimate Michael Myers instead of Halloween. You slow pokes. All right. <sighs> Oh. All right, so the first thing I want to take a look at is the actual inside backdrop that comes with this set. It kind of reminds me of Studio Series, only this is actually just flimsy paper here. So here we have a light-up pumpkin. We got the door to the Myers house, I'm assuming here. Or maybe it's Lori Strode's house, I'm not so sure. And that's pretty much it. Moving on. Well, that was easy. Yeah, guys, I cheated. I already know what this figure has to offer because I've already taken it out of the package. Better safe than sorry when it comes to NECA's quality. Okay, so taking a look at the 7-inch action figure of Michael Myers, NECA has done a successful job on this figure. The quality feels so much different. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to the paint application, the articulation, especially the articulation. So let's go ahead and get into it. Taking a look at the head sculpt that is on the figure straight out of packaging here. This is not the alternate head. You can see, kinda, not really, if I had a light here, maybe I could, wait a minute, let me, uh, let me remedy that. Ha ha ha! So as you can see, we got some very nicely painted eyes here in the sockets for the eye holes on the mask. Looks pretty good. You can see there's a lot of detail here from wrinkles and damage on the mask, seeing that it is 40 years old. The hair on the mask is actually a separate piece. It's glued down and it looks pretty straight. Doesn't seem to be any glue that's bleeding out, which is very nice. And taking a look at the mechanical jumpsuit here, it looks uh, pretty good. I like the wrinkles on it. We do have some weathering on it as well. And taking a look at the back of it. Really good work here, NECA. We do have some back pockets here. You will notice that there is no waist cut or torso cut. That's actually because this is a whole entire rubber piece here that's being used for the jumpsuit. It looks really good, but it does hinder a little bit of the articulation here. You're not going to get much when it comes to the upper torso, but it is in there. If you want to do a little dissecting to find out how it works, be my guess. I'm not going to do it, so more power to you. And taking a look at the sleeves on the figure. It's very nice. Here's a look at the upper side as well. Going down to the legs, as you can see, we got that standard hidden articulation here, which means it's only single jointed, but we'll get more to that in just a minute. Taking a look at the glossy boots at the bottom here, it's very nice. Uh, they do have some weather on them to make them look like they're worn, and they should be, obviously. Here's a look at the bottom of them, and as you can see, we do have some peg holes here. If you have any NECA stands, this works great on them. You'll also notice that he does have some blood spots on his hands. That's a very 
nice touch there, NECA. And this side here is a little scarred up, which makes sense. So moving right along to the articulation, we do have a very nicely ball-jointed head that gets as much range as you could ask for, so you can get... A very nice inquisitive pose to the left and the right. We do have universal shoulder joints to get this much inward and outward movement. We do have a full 360 rotation. We have a swivel cut above the elbow section. The elbow is double jointed so you can get a pretty natural looking position bending it up all the way past 90 degrees. There's a swivel cut down below at the bottom of the double jointed elbow. On the plus side of things we do have a very nicely ball jointed wrist here. It kind of reminds me of SH figure art. Once again, I'm just assuming here, but we do have a ball jointed upper torso, a waist swivel cut, which is kind of useless. Going down to the legs and the hips do have your standard universal joints with this much kicking forward, this much going back. And Michael Myers can pull off a very nice JCVD split, so there's your still quality. People enjoy it. We have a thigh swivel cut within the hip joint. Being that this is your standard hidden articulation at the knees, you only have a single joint that gets at least 90 degrees of bend and that's all you can really ask for. There's a swivel cut actually that's at the top of the knee section. There's a swivel cut at the ankle joint and the ankle joint does have a hinge to allow some up and down movement as well. Plus the way it's constructed we do have some very nice ankle rocker pivots. All right so you've seen the action that this figure has to offer so let's go ahead and dare to compare with some of her 7-inch NECA action figures from Terminator 2, Sarah Connor, Predator's Mashiko, and a Warrior Xenomorph. Other figures for comparisons is Marvel Legends Scream, Storm Collectibles Ermac, and the soon-to-be-review Cuddle Team Leader from McFarlane Toys Fortnite series. We're going to take a look now at some of the accessories the figure had to offer. Taking a look at the tombstone of his sister here, you can see it says Judith Myers, our beloved daughter, was born November 10th, 1947, and died at the end of October 1960. It does have some shading as well. That's a nice touch there, NECA. Really good on the quality of the paint. And here's a look at the back of it, which it doesn't have anything at all. Here's a look at the alternate head sculpt that comes with the action figure. And at first glance, it doesn't look like anything's changed at all. But I have noticed on the original figure, there's a blood spot around the eye socket on the left. But this one doesn't have that at all. Plus, you'll notice that his eyes are actually painted completely black here. So, there's your real difference maker there. And here's a look at the back of the head skull because someone's going to ask. Switching it out looks like it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm going to try it anyway. So, let's see it. Okay, that popped off very easily. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. I can't tell if that's actually in there. Anyway, so here's Michael Myers now with the alternate head sculpt. And again, not much to really go by here, is it? Take that off and put back on the original. Other accessories that this figure comes with is the poking stick for the fireplace. Yeah, not much to really say about it. It's pretty flimsy. This feels like it could break in my hands anytime soon, so let's just get rid of it. And of course, here's the hammer that he used in the movie, which it does have a little bit of some bloody spots here. Obviously, it's been used, right? Finally, out of weapons, he comes with his signature kitchen knife. Go ahead and pop that in his hand here. And that really does complete the look, doesn't it? You just ain't nothing without your signature kitchen knife. The figure also sports four interchangeable hands, which I do have one of them already applied on the figure, and I'm not going to bother to put these on because it's really difficult. While I like the new ball joints they're using with the figure, it makes it quite a challenge to get these in place. So anyway, let's take a good look at them up close. Pretty much a gripping hand here that does have some blood spots here. And here's a look at his left hand when it was blown away by Laurie Strode using the shotgun. Here's another gripping hand, which is probably for the hammer here. Yeah, it's for the hammer. And here's a right hand that looks like it's in a calming position, even though it's got quite the blood effect on it. We're coming down to the last of the accessories, and the one that I want to show off real quickly is the Lido Pumpkin. Now, this pumpkin was seen in the movie for a short period of time. Some boyfriend gave it to his girlfriend, and that was pretty much the end of it. As you can see, we got the battery compartment in the back. There would actually be a little plastic slip right here that you would pull out. And by pressing on the top of the stem here... Get some very nice light up effect and a very cool flickering feature, which I was not expecting at all. And to show off the full power of the LED. Ooh, scary. Ow. Finally, the last accessory that this figure comes with is the victim head. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually the cop 
As you can see, we have no eyes. We have a big jaw here that's actually been slid open pretty bad. You want to know how I got these scars on my face? It was him. Do I have some nice spray effects here with some blood highlights? And then, of course, we got some nice touching here with the gray for the hair. Look at that gouge right there at the back of the neck. That's probably where he got killed at first before being decapitated. And you know what the cool thing is about this? Poke a light underneath. Ooh, scary. Look at that. Was not expecting that at all. But I guess it would have been too much to ask for to actually get some LEDs in the victim head. NECA Toys pulled a homer on this one. I love it. I love the new articulation. I love the weathering effects that's been done on this figure. Some negativity that I've got to say is basically the articulation is obviously hindered pretty badly at the torso. Unfortunately, they couldn't use anything like soft fabric material for the jumpsuit, and I can understand why. But if you want to see what Michael Myers may have looked like with that kind of fabric, don't worry, Mesco Toys has got you covered. Michael Myers has to be one of the best, if not the best. He's right up there with the Ninja Turtles. The quality feels a lot better on this figure. I was not expecting double jointed elbows. I really wish they give the figure some double jointed knees. It would be a breath of fresh air. This figure is starting to pop up in stores right now, so have a good look at your target stores if he hasn't shown up just yet give it a couple of weeks he'll be there i promise you it'd make a nice holiday gift for any halloween fan out there even though it should be called christmas at this point regardless though you don't want to miss out on this very cool action figure he's definitely one you want to add to your NECA collection from the accessories count to the paint job to the articulation to the very nice head sculpt even though it's really difficult to tell the difference between the two definitely worth the price point which is about 30 bucks in my opinion this figure could be well over 45 and he's still worth it so questions and comments you know to do hit it down below in the comment section of the video if you like today's video review hit the thumbs up button don't forget to give me a sub up if you didn't like it hit the thumbs down don't forget to throw in the towel and until then my friends this is young professional toy reviewer hasbro sign off by saying when the opportunity persists don't give up on your dreams siege the moment thanks for watching